I just wanted to do a video for you guys um, and for myself just for memory's sake we are getting ready to move and that makes me so sad but uh, we have outgrown our house um, however we have made it in this 1500 square foot house for a very long time with eight children and um, I just wanted to show you guys how we did it in case it can encourage anyone else and also just to have a memory for me because like I said we're so sad to leave but hopefully God has some great things in store for us and we're actually going to be moving into a much smaller house for the time being because we have not found anything else to buy yet and so we are moving into my grandmother's old house that my husband actually helped to build for her and it's only a one bedroom house so I may show you guys what I'm going to do in there organizationally to make that work for us until we find a house or either build our own home. Uh, my husband is just a really handy man and so he may just end up building us a house. So anyway, um, excuse the dust, the mess. I tried to straighten up a little but you know what? I'm in the process of moving so I've already begun that and cleaning is not what I have time for. So. Um, yeah, I just try to keep the clutter up, but as far as cleaning, I have not had time lately, so I hope you can't see that on video. <laughs> um, anyhow, this is one of my kids' bedrooms, and it's a very tiny little room. You can see it's so big, um, but I try to just keep not a whole lot out. Um, we keep that fan in here just for the noise to help them sleep well. Um, you know, having a lot of kids in one house, it's always loud, so this helps them to take a nap. And this is our dresser drawer, um, our dresser for four of our children. Um, we keep one drawer per child. And um, let me show you how I keep it. I'm gonna go with this drawer because it's probably the neatest. No, they're all pretty neat. We, um, I even keep two seasons in here. You just don't need a lot of clothes. Um, if you wash every day, so um, I've pared down and tried to make this work. And if you fold them in neat little packages like that, and I keep a set, so this is what goes together. And um, we do play clothes, and um, because we live <clears throat> we live in the country, and so when our kids go out and play, they get muddy and filthy, and it's okay because these are clothes that they're just probably stained or have a little hole or something, and but good enough they can still wear to play in and I don't feel like they're ruining their more expensive nicer clothes so these are our summer play clothes then we have um, some winter play clothes and our pajamas in the end and then I keep um, our good clothes back here so we have good winter um, good summer and that's all we need other than some hanging clothes and my daughter's trying to get out her clothes because she loves clothes <laughs> Um, so then we have, um, right now we have boys and girls in the same room just because we only have um, two bedrooms for the children. So um, we have uh, my son in the top bunk, my daughter is in this bunk, and then we have a crib mattress that we slide underneath the bed every day. Um, and that, you know, I'd love to have it on a little sliding trundle or something, but it works. And then we just stick her pillow up with my older daughter's pillow. And um, then she'll a lot of times just take a nap in this bed because the my older daughter doesn't need a nap anymore. And we have their blankets tucked right there, extra little blankets. And then we also have under the window here a, um, a little toddler bed for my three-year-old and um, then this is their closet and I keep all four of their hanging clothes in here and we have this little dresser um, which houses underwear and socks as well as a drawer for um, like diapers for the little one and um, you know one drawer with pull-ups and training pants and such for him um, we find that we can share socks with several sizes so like my older son um his socks work also for my three-year-old the three-year-old and five-year-old so they just share that so i don't have to worry about mixing socks in with his diapers and stuff um so this is my older daughter's hanging spot and my um, son and then two up here and really we have as you can see way more than we need to keep out but I was trying to do summer and winter so that I wasn't constantly having 
to switch clothes because um, the only thing that makes me want to never have kids again is um, <laughs> switching clothes. I hate switching clothes um, seasonally and all of that. It is a nightmare and a mess everywhere. So <clears throat> that's why I have chosen to keep both out. I could probably keep it more minimalized and neater looking if I only kept one season, but you know, this works for me. And then we keep extra diapers and wipes and things up on these shelves. And this is something I would say is definitely worth the money. Um, we put in these adjustable shelves. I don't even know what they're called, but we got them from Lowe's. They're, um, I don't even want to say, I don't know if it's closet made or rubber made. I think it's rubber made. Um, and they have these bars here and you can adjust this shelf any way you want it. You can add a hanging bar. You can add drawers on here. Um, all kinds of things. So, you know, depending on whether you need the space for shorter clothes like this or longer clothes like this, you can totally switch it up, which is awesome because your needs are constantly changing in a big family. You know, you get another child and say, oh, I gotta, I gotta have space for this or that. And so it really works out. I love those. I put them in both the kids' bedrooms and in the laundry room, which hopefully will be clean enough that I can show you that too. Um, so then I'll take you right over here to the other bedroom and um, this is for three of my children my sons so um, and my husband made that log bed well, he and I together and um, awesome bed um, anyhow then he also made this toy box out of crates um, my dad is a um, tractor salesman and so he gets crates all the time and so us being frugal <laughs> we said hey we can make something out of that so he made this awesome like mission style um toy box with these panels um and see you can see it's like pallet wood um and then he made these great little crates to go on it um we haven't finished the last crate so but um i recently made the kids pare down they only have three crates of toys now um, we decided that we'd rather have less we'd like to get some money to sell some things and um, we're going to hopefully use that money to um, buy something fun that we can do all together as a family rather than having all this clutter and we do still have toys in the attic so that we can rotate I don't want to get rid of everything and um, so we rotate because if you have too many down they just make a wreck of it and don't really play with it and just fight so um, we kind of have our toy library in the attic. Now, um, this dresser is just for two sons, and I probably could do better on that, but they are older, so, um, you know, a, um, 11 and 12-year-old, their clothes are bigger, so <laughs> they take more space, but they're nice deep drawers. I love that. And so um, I labeled, you probably can't read it, but I labeled it um, for good clothes and whose are on each side and I we did have more in here so that this held up pretty good but I tried to separate it there and um, again fold them in these neat little packages everything fits in there you can just you can fit so much more when you do that um same deal here this drawer thankfully already had its own divider we have this little skinny drawer here that we do underwear and bathing suits in, and so that works perfect keep them a few reading books out um them a long time ago um so then we also have this and this is actually probably meant for a dining room i don't even know um my uncle is in the furniture business and he got this as a second for like 50 dollars back when i had my first son and um, we used it as a changing table he got a um, foam pad made to fit right on the top and that was our changing table but nowadays we realize we don't need a changing table we have a bed so them on the bed and change them there um so um this is just the kids junk drawer and then i keep two sons clothes in here which i really like this because look at that you can fit a lot of this in there. um so you know kind of repurposing someday i'd love to, to maybe paint it or or something but it works actually with this log bed pretty good um love that idea i saw that somewhere else and um just taking an old crate and they keep their little toy cars in there. Um, so I recently, the same thing, I made, I didn't make them get rid of everything, but I made them pick their favorites and put them in here. And when they're ready to switch, we can switch out cars. But um, this is all the little matchbox cars that they get to keep. It's what fits on there. 
Okay, and then here are our adjustable shelves again. Um, thankfully, they have a little plug in their closet, so they keep their walkie-talkies in there. And um, shoes. Every child, too. I should show you this. Every child has an ammo can, which if you have boys, well, at least country boys like mine, <laughs> they think that is awesome. And that is their personal space. They can put whatever they want in it. Um, nobody's supposed to touch it, and that's their personal stuff. So the other kids slide under their bed, but um, we keep theirs in the closet. But see, I even have all these shelves up here. You can put them nice and tight when you have these adjustable, as many as you can fit. And um, we keep extra blankets and stuff up there. There's the blankets. I didn't show you that. Um, Abigail, please move. Underneath of... This bed, we have another crib mattress that pulls out, and now that son is getting about too big, and we really need to have him in a bigger bed. So again, the need for moving, but um, we could we could slide a twin under there. It would just be really hard to pull in and out. Um, so that's why we have just chosen to do the crib mattress for now. So actually, three boys are in this room, and um, then every day we fold his blankets and put them up on the shelf. So then at night we pull them back down. I keep these little boxes in here for socks and things and here's a sock basket for the baby though he hasn't worn socks since the weather got warm because we just in our family the weather gets warm you wear flip-flops because then I don't have to wash your socks I don't have to pay for new socks that wear out and flip-flops are cheap so um, <laughs> that's what we do and in the winter you wear boots at home and in the you know we, we have nicer shoes for going out in public I keep this little there's just this tiny little spot in the hall here um, that I keep for um, children's books in this cabinet. And this is our bedroom. And um, my, I'm sorry, my desk is not neat. I've had a lot to do. so, um, But I have um, our laptop on here and like this little folder thing helps keep me organized and I you know the spot for bills to pay receipts that I need to stub um, things that I need to do on the internet you know sometimes I just don't have time and I think oh I've got to do this or I've got to order this and I can stick it in there and the next time when I have time I can check and see okay what did I need to do on the internet today is just kind of like a place for a to-do list so I really use that I now keep my to-do list on a wonder list on my phone which is awesome um, call, ask, cancel, or things, phone calls that need to be made, um, questions that I need to call someone about, or some service I may need to cancel. And then papers to file is just to keep the clutter off my desk as much as possible. If I don't have time to file something, stick it in there. But to make this work, you have to do it every day. You have to go through it every day. So I'm kind of behind on that, and it's not working for me, but I intend to get back to that. Um, I have a brother printer. Prints super cheap. Love it. I hate the how much space it takes, but... It's such an awesome printer. I refill my ink for $4.80 by buying um, refill toner on Amazon. So definitely worth the money. And then because I already had it, I had a color printer um, that will print photos. And I keep that underneath my desk. Um, again, just I want to show you because I'm doing all these space saving how we make it work. I have a shredder under there. This desk is really deep, so it does not get in the way of my feet. It's not a problem. I keep my um, speaker. Well, I have speakers up here, but that's the, I don't know what you call it, kind of the base, I guess. I don't know. And then I have a camera and stuff that I store under there for our space. So I keep books by our bed. Um, and more books over here, and I should be quiet. I'm forgetting I have a baby asleep. So the baby sleeps in our room in this pack and play. Um, don't have room for a full-size crib anymore, so for the last quite a few children, we just use the pack and play until they're too big, and then they move to a crib mattress that slid underneath the bed. Um, not pretty, but I keep my sewing machine um, out just because there's constant need for repairs. And, um, yeah, my husband and I are spoiled because we have more clothes space. <laughs> we share this dresser and then also have the drawers over here. Um, I keep a little two-drawer file cabinet in the closet here. It works great, slides underneath, um, because we have we don't have a walk-in closet or anything, but we have double closets, and they go all the way over um, into that wall there and into that wall there. 
Um, so they're deep. It's not easy to get to the stuff. So I keep maternity clothes hanging in there um, back where I mean I don't need to get to them when I'm not pregnant. So just shove them back, and then I keep um, just some extra out of season clothes over there, or just um, things that I hope that someday will fit me again. Ha ha. <laughs> Um, let me see if I can turn on the light here and get this focused. So this is our master bathroom, which is one thing that I truly do love about this house. Um, well, I love my flooring. We put that in. It is just vinyl plank pieces that stick down. The easiest thing you can ever lay and um, cheap, but beautiful. Uh, so, yeah, we have double vanities. Um, I do a couple things underneath here. I might want to show um, keep these little stacking Rubbermaid bins from Walmart and I labeled it. So hair, nails is just my extra, um, hair brushes and nail polish and things like that. And then down here I keep one for sunscreen and travel. So my like travel soap container and things like that that you don't need to keep out all the time, but you want to know where they are easy to get to. And it, this makes it really nice because I can just unstack these bins and pull it out and, um, you know, our sunscreen and all that's in there. Um, and then I also have these little um, shelf things that I stuck in there uh, to make it a little bit better since there's not shelves in these kind of bathroom cabinets. Um, I don't need to show you everything, but you get the, the idea. I keep my rag hanging on a hook in the shower. Um, this is really nice. So this is a small house at 1,500 square feet. At the same time, it's just designed very well and very open, and so I have storage space, which is great. I keep two hampers in here, one for whites and one for darks. Um, used to, I just threw the clothes in there, and then one day it hit me. Wait a minute, one of these hampers is white and one is kind of darker. That would make sense if I kept things separately. So now I do it organized, and when the dark one gets full, I wash, and usually the white one I have to do before because we don't have very many whites because I learned that you put boys in black socks because they will ruin white socks <laughs> and as much as possible our clothes are dark for a reason because um, whites never stay looking white and then they're nasty so extra toilet paper extra baby blankets um, these are my scrapbook supplies I keep them in there nighttime diapers for the kids we have to keep them in here because if we don't they will get a new one every day even though it's not wet so anyway that's a waste of um, so I, we have a lot of stuff that probably most people don't have, partly because we kind of have a farming lifestyle and because we're both really crafty. So, um, I do painting and so I keep all my, um, acrylic paints and paint brushes and, um, my, um, soap making supplies. Um, I have made baby, painted baby dolls for my girls, like lifelike baby dolls, um, kind of the reborn dolls, and um, so I keep all that stuff in there. Um, in a way, I'd love to get rid of it because I don't have time anymore, but I think someday I'm going to paint again um, when my kids are a little older, so extra towels and washcloths and sheets, um, probably have more than I need, and um, really a lot of them are things that are Probably worn out I should get rid of but I have saved just in case because you know what if somebody throws up in the bed at night or pees in the bed hey you have a set that you can switch even if it's not great but um, an extra just nebulizer and all the little things that I can just stack it's kind of messy um, these are old quilts anyway I don't know why it's not focusing now um, we have cloth diapered in the past and so I don't have time for it right now, but I didn't want to get rid of them because I spent a lot of money. I'm going to try to zoom in and back out to see if I can get this to clear up. Why, oh why? Anyway, um, they take a lot of space. So I bought the this Space Cube um, Ziploc uh, vacuum seal bag. It's actually lost its seal, but I need to re-vacuum it. It may have a hole in it. I don't know, but it still stays packed pretty tight. Um, and I, I vacuum bagged those to take less space and just keep them from knocking down and going all over the place. Some extra tablecloths and things like that back in there as well. And I keep my shoes on the door. Um, of course, I have 
too many shoes, so I should pare down on that too. Um, so that is this part of the house. I will try to do another video maybe to do the rest um, because this is getting kind of long and I don't want it to take too long. So I'll do the rest and show you my attic, which is probably a mess right now, but it's really cool. So I'm going to do an attic video and then I will also show you uh, my kitchen, laundry, and living room in a little bit. Thanks for watching.